It's reporting from Bora Bora. <laughs> Great, that was really corny. Do you like my sunburned nose? Um, it is the second to last day. Tomorrow's our last day here, which we didn't think it was. We thought we had two more days left, and we in actuality only have one. We found that out when we went to go make reservations for dinner, because what threw us off is we thought Alex's birthday was on Tuesday. And I don't know why we thought this, but both of us thought this. And um, so today is the 31st, I believe, I think. And we thought that we had like two more full days because we leave the day after his birthday. But in actuality, his birthday is tomorrow. And he went out snorkeling again, which he loves to do. I had to stay in. I feel a little sunsick. We had a lot of sun today, and I feel a little sunsick. So I'm staying in. I put our coconut oil out because it was solidified. It's right there in the little mason jar. Um, because we're probably gonna use the rest of that tonight because we use that as our lotion and stuff. We use it as everything when we travel. And I'm gonna make Alex a midday cocktail because I told him I would have a surprise for him. So, here it goes. And we're gonna go on jet skis tomorrow, which is really fun. So I really wanna get like a lot of rest and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make him a cocktail, and yeah, bye guys. You struggling with this camera? <laughs> now I'm recording. <laughs> and this is us getting goofy for dinner. No. We haven't even had alcohol yet. Nope. Watch out, Bora Bora. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. You want to the pizza place? Yeehaw. I don't really know what it's called. Everyone calls it the pizza place. But... Really good cocktails. If you guys. Reverend Bora Bora, go to this pizza place. We'll tell you the name tonight when we get back. Yeah. Or while we're there, maybe. It's delicious. Last night for dinner, it's called Lucky House. If you're in Bora Bora, go to Lucky House, and Frankie is the owner, and he'll hook you up. Um, he won't remember who we are, but so don't be like, oh, Kelsey now looks at me, because he'll be like, who are they? Ow. But... You should go there and you should get the Hawaiian pizza because it's delicious. And Alex had the mussels. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Well, it was the oyster. The mussels from the oyster that they get the black pearls from. It was scrumptious. Dump shit. So, so we're going to go to dinner. It's the only place oh. here that actually makes whiskey sours. So. It's his favorite drink choice. We're gonna go now. Bye. It's our last day. So sad. It is so sad. It's so sad. We're gonna go to the store and get some pineapple juice and some mango juice. Sorry if I look oily. I put coconut oil on my face. And I broke out in like a rash. I think it's a heat rash under my... What are you gonna do? But um, our gracious friends that we met on this trip left yesterday and they gave us this. And so we have to finish that today. And mostly it's gonna be Alex finishing it, but um, we're gonna go get juice to drink it with. And we gotta go out with a bang, you know? And we kind of are sunned out. So we're probably gonna stay inside most of the day, but then we're going jet skiing at one o'clock. Which should be fun. And yeah, we're kind of excited to go home and start our life together. And we're kind of, it's like a weird. Like we're ready to leave, but it's also ready, sad. Yeah. Like we're ready, but our honeymoon's over. So it's kind of like, oh, here's Alex's birthday cake. It's melting. Cause they gave it to us for breakfast. Yeah. We told them eight at night and they gave it to us at eight in the morning. Alex Whoa. says his birthday, he's 23 years old. <laughs> 23 years old. <laughs> he's so handsome. Our bed. It's so pretty. Baby. It's my baby. I'm just reading, don't mind me. He's so cute. 
We've had some inside time. We ate his cake. It was yummy for the first couple bites. And then we were drinking some juice. And now we're going to go back outside, but I have to set up the towels. So, yes. And that's Kelsey. She's down there. Are we videotaping? Yeah, no, I'm videotaping. Yeah. She's below our hut. Below our table. And little coral reef. So. We're going to set the movie Couples Retreat. Boom. On Bora Bora. We drove over here in jet skis. Drove here on jet skis. Super cool. Eating coconut. Life is good. Feel like I'm on Survivor. We just had this native crack us open a coconut. And we're eating it. And we're eating it. And now we're on a set of a movie. What? He said this is from the yoga scenes. But it's pretty cool. Alex is doing pull-ups because he can't help but work out. This is so cool. Vince Vaughn was here. Was he? he was in that movie. I haven't seen the movie, so. You should watch it, it's really funny. I'll watch it with you. I'll watch it now that we've been here. Yeah, we took jet skis here, it's super fun. Having a blast. There's a sculpture in this rock. What, do you see that? What? What is it? It's coral, but then they, Sculpted like a coyote head. What? Out of coral? Isn't that crazy? What's this? That's nothing, I don't think. A spider. That's all for now, though. Peace. Day, baby. I'm Last recording. Day. Sad day. Are you really sad? No. <laughs> I mean, it's sad that we have to leave such a nice place, but it's also exciting. Because we get to move in together. Yep. So we're enjoying our last hours. We get, oh, I'm trying to flip it. We get to stay until 4, which is nice because our flight's not till 4.50, so we can enjoy the pool, go swimming. And Alex Sunkly. made these beautiful drinks. It's mango and pup. Papa. Pineapple? Papa pineapple. Pa -pa pineapple. And he's weeding. He's not playing Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I got a Pokemon on my phone, so that's how I was playing. And she hates it. She hates it. Yeah. She said it's my second girlfriend. It's Wife. Wife. Yeah, sorry. Alright, well, I'm gonna move back the table because we were taking pictures. You yeah. know. Move it back. Alright, bye guys. Say bye. Bye. So, we got kicked out. Stop staring. There's a girl out there and she's being rude. She's being weird. Um, we got kicked, we got a call and they were like, you need to get the blankety blank out of your <laughs> hut. They weren't being mean. They were just like, you need to get out of your hut. We have somebody else who needs to stay there. But our checkout time isn't until 4.40 p.m because our we have to take a water taxi and then water taxi to the airport to um, an island hopper to go to Tahiti and then from Tahiti to LAX and then from LAX to SFO anyways so she said you guys need to get out of your hut and we were so confused because we thought we could stay and they told us we could stay in our hut until four and then we got moved to this hut which is a beachfront hut which just means that it's not over water like if you look you can't even see. But you can see the people who keep staring at us. They're right there. Real weird. Um, it's just like the sand and then the beach. So we're like still right on beach. It doesn't, we're not even sleeping here or staying here. We don't really give a flying, you know. And so we packed up our bags in like 10 minutes, came and they brought us over here and now we take showers here. We've kind of been outside enjoying the last of the Polynesian weather, but we are, we were out of sunscreen. We ran out yesterday. And so we're like little like burning things. Like we just have, I'm burning my sun rash is gross and it's like infected. Um, 
But I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for our shuttle because I wanna be nice and scrubby clean for that since we're basically gonna be traveling for 24 hours straight. Um, Cause our flight out of, T so our flight at Tahiti is at 5.15 to 6.15 or something. And then our flight from Tahiti to LAX is at 11 something and it just gets all mumbled. I don't even know. So the journey back home at this point, you know, the end of a trip is really bittersweet. You're kind of like, I want it to end. I don't want it to end. But when you come back from your honeymoon, it's like me and him get to move in together and we get to start this apartment and everything together, which is super exciting. And that's what we're kind of excited about. We get to move to this new place and go and create our own new life. So that's the little update. And this hut looks, oh, there I am, hi. This hut looks exactly like ours, like exactly. So I'm gonna take a shower, bye guys. Well, you ready to go back? Yes. I want to go make our home. No. Yeah. That's exciting. Get out of this place. Right? It's been nice though. It's really been nice, but I don't know. This lighting. Here. It's like the honeymoon's not over. I don't know how to explain. It. I wonder if everybody who has a honeymoon feels this way. No, it's almost like our honeymoon's beginning. Yeah. But there's a coconut. Tastes like victory. Just getting ready for the plane. You let's know? just let's watch Kelsey for a little bit. Let's Put watch. My powder play in my hair. <sighs> We have to say goodbye to the out. We have to hey. um, wash those seashells. Oh. Yeah, we got some seashells soaking because they stank. They stanked up my bags. Smelled real bad. And they're so small. I don't know. Like, it, they pack a punch. But they do. Smell real bad. But, all right. Well, catch you on the flip side.